70s these power lines were put in. Those towers are just shy of 350 feet tall, so we don't have the equipment that'll reach that. We have what's called dampeners, which are designed to limit damage due to vibration. As wind goes across the wires, it causes them to vibrate. These dampeners uh, mitigate that vibration. Over the years, these dampeners have failed due to just their age and useful life. So we asked uh, Haverfield to come in uh, earlier this year. They did an inspection for us. They did some x-rays of the lines themselves to verify that the line integrity of the lines was good. And we were satisfied with that, but we realized we needed to get these dampeners replaced. They proposed to us and we looked their safety programs over, we agreed, and um, so here we are. We're working on structures five and six uh, here on the 307 line and the N133 line, uh, which feed into two different substations. And we're replacing insulators and dampeners right now with the structure behind us on structure five. Haverfield crews are in here doing a live line, uh, replacing dampeners right now on the 307 line, uh, which is a 345 kV line in our system. And they're doing the lower phase, you can see right now, and they're gonna be working their way up to the middle and the top phase. We uh, get long line down onto the phase, then uh, we got a cart long line into us. Feels like ants all over your body biting you. When you're coming energized. It's uh, when like sounds like your head's in a microwave kind of. When you're uh, sitting on a line, you can hear just a bunch of buzzing and stuff going around around your hood on your hot suit. The field when when you're bringing stuff in, like the, when they bring the cart in, you got to energize the cart. So there's a lot of times you're getting poked and stuff like that from the electricity. Larry Graham built this cart to, to fit on a single conductor, and the wire was like as big as a uh, Coke can. When, when you're doing um, spacer carts, usually there's double bundle or triple bundle or quad, where a spacer cart is easily, you know, put on the wire. But this was single conductor going over the over the river there. So Larry had to fabricate this cart, and he came up with a, a cart to sit on a single conductor to go up and down the wire. We didn't have clearance to get in with the helicopter, so that's why we used a spacer cart. I had one guy stand on the ladder and let me down on a cart, down the line to change, take dam old dampeners off and to put new dampeners back on.
using the, our hoist, we used the electric winch. Larry uh, designed it with a fabricator and uh, made a, a winch to run through shiv blocks to pick up our load instead of using hoist. It was a big time saver. We used the hoist to pick up the slack and pull up slack and wire to change out the insulators so we could fly them in and out with a helicopter. Yeah, well, it's, what it's doing is supplying a, uh, a good for us in the sense that the, we don't have to send crews up there to do the mechanical work, which would be very, very tedious and labor intense by going up there with ladders and ropes, which would take for a tremendously long time to do, where the helicopter brings the people right up to the structure in situation, and uh, they're right there doing the work very closely, and uh, they complete it in a natural time frame, where, where the, if we had to do this off of ladders with ropes and manhandling it, it could take up to a, you know, a month to do these kind of structures, and very labor intense. They cut the work down tremendously. Guys are in a lot better shape than I am, but by the time I would climb to the top, I would have to take it a couple hour break myself. But, you know, depending on how difficult and, and weather and everything else, it could take as long as three months to do both of those towers. We plan on doing it in eight to 10 days. So. Haverfield, of course, is known throughout the industry for their live line uh, capabilities. In today's world, this is very important in that the infrastructure is being grown at a dramatic rate. With the advent of this infrastructure growth, you need some more support, and the aircraft is an optimum tool to maximize savings. It's an optimum tool to maximize man hours. Haverfield is supporting this industry and direction uh, at every turn.